Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to the Creative Council. My name is Natasha and today we're gonna to be discussing the topic of pumpkins, apples, and pears and what they mean in a dream. So we're gonna start with pumpkins. So if you're dreaming of a pumpkin in a dream, on the positive side, it is gonna be a representation of a season changing. It's gonna be a representation of harvest time um, or it could be a representation of affection. And the reason I say affection is because sometimes people say, oh, you know, he's my little pumpkin or this is my little pumpkin. pumpkin. So it's a reference um, a lot of people use for affection towards someone they really love. So it could be a representation of affection depending on other elements or whatnot. And then also if it's a if it's if you're dreaming of pumpkins and you're not we're not in the we're in fall right now physically but if you're dreaming of pumpkins and you're not in the fall season it's let's say it's spring or summer and you're dreaming of pumpkins then that can mean that God is expediting a season for you that there's a there's a transition about to happen even though it may not be in the season that you think so it's it's him showing you that there is a transition coming and pending, uh, coming your way. So pay attention to that. So on the negative side is going to be a representation of witchcraft, deception, or a snare. And the reason I say that is because in the States, we a lot of people celebrate Halloween and one of the primary symbols of Halloween is a pumpkin. And pumpkins are associated around Halloween with the demonic and they use it to quote unquote ward off spirits or it's just all, it's all demonic. And if you're a Christian, you shouldn't be celebrating Halloween. And I know people think that's controversial, but you open yourself up to what they're partaking of. Like you're not going to see a Satanist come to church on Easter just because everybody's celebrating it. They would be punished and reprimanded for that. So as a Christian, you shouldn't be celebrating death the day of the dead and just all the evil and wicked things they do on Halloween. So on the negative, a pumpkin can represent witchcraft, deception, and just a snare, uh, a snare in your soul. So just think about the, the context of it. If it's a darker dream, if the colors are muted, um, just think about that because that will give you insight in helping you understand and interpret the dream. So moving on, apples. So what what does apples mean in a dream? Well, on the positive side, it's going to be a representation of something precious and something very dear and valuable to you. And the reason I say that is the Lord, rep the Lord thinks of Israel as the apple of his eye, something precious to him, something priceless to him. And so that can be a representation of that. It can also be a representation of spiritual fruit, but a lot of times it's going to be something precious, precious and affection, something that's really um, precious and dear to you. So like, for instance, someone had a dream where they were at a table and they had all these um, apples and the apples were silver, silver apples and a gold or silver apples and silver plates. And they were dreaming about a person who was in the dream with them. And so when they woke up, they told the person about the dream and the person got emotional and was saying, basically her grandma had a set of silver uh, apples in a silver plate. So silver apples and silver settings. And so it was really sentimental for her, even though the, her friend didn't really understand it, but it meant something to her other, her friend when she told her it, told her the dream. So it just depends, like I said, and then silver is redemption and um, just the color plays an important part. So pay attention to the color of the apple. So if it's a red apple, it's a green apple, a yellow apple, is it a pink apple? That's going to play a role in the interpretation and also what are you doing with the apple are you eating the apple are you giving the apple away is it just an element within the space kind of like the girl who had that dream the apples were in the center of the table the kitchen and so just paying attention to those kind of things will help you understand the overall dream as well 
but yeah, so apples can represent um, something precious or spiritual, a spiritual fruit. Um, so growth. And then on the negative, it could represent temptation. So <laughs> just being, you know, conscious of other elements still help you get, get the interpretation of that. So on the negative, it could represent temptation and just being deceived as well. Um, the next fruit is pears. So pears, people don't, I don't think people have too many dreams of pears, but pears are going to be a representation of long life. And moreover, being able to endure without complaining. So endurance without complaining, and then that resulting in long life. So a fruitfulness, long life or whatnot, it's like a promise. So just like with apples, it's going to depend on the, the meaning is going to depend on the color. So pears come in red, they come in green, they come in yellow, they come in brown. Sometimes it's like a mixture. So pay attention to that as well. That will give you some insight to um, the specific meaning of that to you in your dream. But yeah, so that's what pumpkins and apples and pears mean. And it's the fall time. So I wanted to do a video about these fruit because these are the kind of fruit we have during this time of season. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment box below. And if you have any fruits that you're dreaming of that you would like me to do a video about that you're not getting understanding about, then just go ahead and send me a message or leave it in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next video, be healed, be whole, be free. Bye.